I'm Mike. And I'm Mitch. And today's big question come from a viewer who asks, Dear Mike and Mitch, I'm going tempin bowling with my friends and there is a girl I really want to impress. Got any ideas? Uh, hello, what is the name of the show? Big Questions? I mean, what are we doing? Answering dating advice for teenagers? This is you, isn't it? Maybe. Well, looking for love of Christchurch? Luckily, you're in luck. Boom balls. They're solid. They're rugged. They keep going until something stops them. Well, you expected that, but... Because <laughs> bowling balls are quite heavy. No. But here's something you didn't expect, and it's quite interesting too. For this, you need a bowling ball and a large container of water. So, what do you think is going to happen when I put this bowling ball into the bathtub? I don't know, Mitch. What is going to happen when you drop that bowling ball into the water? This. What the? Where are the strings? No strings, no magnets. It's because the ball is less dense than the water, so it floats. Hmm. That really is girl impressing me awesome. <laughs> hey, lady. As with most things that look like magic, sadly, there is a trick to this. It only works for slightly smaller bowling balls. The bigger ones are more dense, which means the stuff they're made of is packed more tightly. Which means, well, they sink. Hey, ladies, come check this out. H hang on, Mike. I was just saying that they've got to be small balls. They can't be big balls because they'll just sink. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Ready? Oh. Oh, they sank. Oh. My balls have dropped. It's because they're too dense. <laughs>